right. Well, uh, first I want to say thank you, like Blaine said, uh, to the Senior Bowl Committee and everybody that was involved um, for inviting me and uh, Lance Jr. out here. I know, like I told a few of you guys, he's excited that there's so many young kids out here tonight. <laughs> um, but I, uh, you know, and I, and I don't want you to think that I, I took a script from Blaine, but I really, I, I, I'm following the same script and saying that I never really thought I would be playing the NFL. You know, I just wanted to be the, the best youth football player, you know, and when I, when I was uh, a youth player, all I wanted to be was the best uh, uh, varsity player, you know, because at the time when I was a youth player, all I saw were the, the we'd wait at the, the fence where the varsity team would line up and they would walk out and we thought they were so cool. You know, and we thought, you know, one day, you know, I'll never be that big. You know, and of course, you know, around sophomore, junior year, you're chucking around some of the seniors and you're like, yeah, buddy, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, of course, my senior year, you know, the, the college football letters started flooding in. And, um, and you know, now the, the, the dream of, of playing at the next level is, uh, is, a, is a reality. You know, and um, so when I got into college, I ended up taking a, a scholarship to the University of Arizona. And for any of you who, didn't, who were kind of unaware, you know, in, on the West Coast, you know, there, there weren't a lot of, of stellar defenses that stood out, you know, on the West Coast. But in the 90s, you know, as a, as a kid, you know, the only thing I ever heard of was, you know, the Arizona, the Desert Swarm, you know, this defense, this defense. You know, they score more points than their offense. It's the only team that... Uh, that I ever really uh, paid attention to, you know. And um, as a senior, I saw there was a cornerback, and uh, Phil, you know, Phil had recruited him out in uh, Baltimore, but there was a cornerback they had named Chris McAllister, and they were playing Nebraska in a uh, in a bowl game in San Diego, and there was a pitch thrown to uh, one of the tailbacks on a sweep, and this cornerback, as soon as he saw it, he ran straight at the fullback. He hit the fullback, took the fullback out, or hit the guard. The guard took the fullback out, and the fullback took out the, uh, the, the tailback. And when I saw that, I said, I, I have to play there. Any, any team where you have a cornerback that, that hits like that, that's willing to, to throw his body around like that, that's a team that, I, that I'd sacrifice my body for as well. Um, then, of course, when I got into uh, college, um, all I wanted to do was win at, college, at the collegiate level. Uh, so, you know, the, that first week, they come out and they say, uh, the first practice, after the first practice, they go to all the, the freshmen and they say, well, you guys, they go one by one individually, you guys are all, you're all going to redshirt. You know, they're like, Lance, glad you're here, you're going to redshirt. So, in my mind, I said, no, I'm not. You know, and I have to find a way to not redshirt. You know, so the next practice we had, it was like a three a day. You know, in the next practice, I mean, I, everything I could do, I, I tried to do. I hit everybody, everything moving, I hit. You know, in special teams, you know, I, I might have jumped the gun a few times just so I can get the ball on the hand, you know, so that the coaches would notice. i do anything I could so the coaches would notice me. You know, and I remember that day, uh, or right after that practice, we had to get to meetings, and, uh, and on my way to meetings, you know, I was, uh, I, was, I was running a little bit late, so, you know, I started sprinting a little bit, and, I started, my fingers started to twitch, you know, so I didn't know what was wrong with my, my fingers, then it was my arm, then it was my elbow, then it was my shoulder, and my, my whole body just locked and I fell and hit the ground. And, you know, one of my teammates ran up, he said, what's wrong with you, man? I said, I don't know, I just can't move. You know, so the trainers came out and they said, uh, they said, what's wrong with you? And I said, man, I can't move. So they, uh, they said, well, I think what happened, Lance, is, you, uh, you dehydrated yourself, you know? And so I didn't, I never really, I didn't figure it out. So I was in the training room and they looked at, we had to mark our weight before and after, you know, before practice, I was 213 pounds. After practice, I was 197 pounds. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, uh, moving into that year, I ended up not red shirt and I came out of my red shirt and I played, um, but again, you know, I never knew I would play at the next level until uh, midway through my, I think my sophomore year, and one of our uh, one of our star players, 
you know, he would come to me during that, that, that week and he'd say, Lance, um, he's like, these NFL scouts that are coming in here, man, they, they're asking about you every week. He's like, every week, you know, he's like, you're going to play at the next level. And that was the first time I thought, okay, play at the next level might actually be a reality. And it was funny because when I uh, ended up getting drafted to the Bears during preseason, um, I was competing with a guy, at a strong side linebacker <clears throat> named Brian Knight. Brian Knight ends up getting hurt. We were going out to play Arizona in Phoenix. It, I mean, it was it was hot out here, out there. And I remember, uh, so the coaches come up to me and they say, Lance, you're going to play, you're going you're gonna to start this game and you're going to finish this game. So I had to play. I started on the, with the ones. I ended with the, the threes or fours. I played every special teams. And on the way to the uh, locker room, there goes that twitch again. <laughs> and as soon as I felt it, I said, hey, come get me, bud, because I'm about to lock up. <laughs> It was interesting, you know, but um, Senior Bowl week, it was uh, a week that, um, that I remember because I was, I was nervous, just like I was nervous going to the combine, you know, and, and you know, my agent's in my ear, hey, I know it's a practice, but you have to treat every practice like it's a game, like this isn't, you know, this is serious business, you know, and, um, and I remember going into it, you know, and we had this long list of guys that, that, you're, that you've heard about, that you've seen on TV, and now you're in the same room with them or you're competing against them. And um, what I did know was I knew that uh, no matter what happens, um, my life will change after this week, and I know my life will be affected by what happens during this week. So, so um, regardless of, of, uh, of anything outside, Lance, you've got to be focused. You've got to go in and do what you have to do. And I remember uh, talking to my agent beforehand. He goes, he goes, Lance, just make sure when you get there, he's like, you know, this is going to be a good chance to cut some weight too. You know, you got to lose, lose a few pounds when you get out there. And so when the first thing I see when I get to the hotel, we're at the Renaissance here, um, was that we were sponsored by Krispy Kreme Donuts. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. <laughs> and I grabbed a box before I went to my room every day. <laughs> But, um, but after that, you know, and I look at uh, this honor and being um, inducted into the Hall of Fame here as a reflection of my career uh, with the Bears. And um, when I was drafted in the third round to the Bears, I was a little upset because, I, you know, there were, there were 13 linebackers that went before me in the draft. And so that was my focus rather than the focus of being, being drafted. And, and my agent told me, he was like, you couldn't have been drafted to a better place. He said that Chicago not only values defense, but they love their linebackers. And uh, that couldn't be truer in the sense, like I, you know, walking down those halls every day in, um, for my meetings, I would look at the halls and I, I would see uh, Bulldog Turner. You know, I would see Bill George, you know, and, and uh, I would see Mike Singletary and, and Dick Buckus every day. And, uh, at every year that went on, it um, it wasn't a I, the reality wasn't real as far as me being included in that group until the back half. You know, um, there were people that always said when I my rookie year they said uh, Lance, the, he said the best you're going to be is uh, maybe a starting special teamer. You know, so he said so focus on that, and um, I heard. Blaine Bishop say, you know, the mind is a, is a powerful, it's a powerful tool, you know, um, because I, even though I heard what he said, it went in one ear and went out the other. And uh, my focus was really, literally to, to show, these to show these men that I deserve to be here, just like everybody else. Um, so again, I want to thank the Senior Bowl because this award to me reflects the, the 12 years that I played in the NFL. And it says to me that I did a good job. Thank you. Yeah.